Are we live? We are. Here we are. As it were. As it were. As such as some were you. <laughs> such as some were some of you. <laughs> mm. oh, all right. I'm about to take a text now. Let me ask you this. All right. What? Fill it in my hands, Jill. Do you like alligator skin, ostrich skin, or snake skin boots? Out of those three, which one? I'm not, I'm not old school snake skin. You're snake skin. Feeling. I gotta go ostrich skin. I like I like really? all the little dots. Really? Yep. Fired up about some ostrich skin. Not a it's a little fan. bougie, but yeah, I like ostrich yeah, skin. It definitely. I, li I like some bougie redneck. <laughs> bougie redneck. Mm -hmm. What would you call a bougie redneck? He's gonna have on ostrich boots. The vented back Columbia shirt. Columbia shirt. Or that. That's kind of. Blue jeans with some sort of uh, belt buckle, of course. No, the khaki shorts with the pockets, like fishing shorts. Whatever happened to cargo shorts? Not cargo shorts, man. Man, whatever happened to cargo shorts? <laughs> I like cargo shorts. I like cargo pants. You look like a cargo short. Yes, sir. I would I would rock some cargo shorts. I'm more of a cut-off blue jean short. <laughs> I come up at... Yeah, you are. Flip-flops, and that was my grandpa. That was his greatest outfit. He had a T-shirt. Roy you know, had some on that you followed, and everybody was drinking on them. Oh, I thought, no. I'm like... Mm -hmm. That's the way you go. My grandpa would have a Del Earnhardt T-shirt on, jorts, and then flip-flops. Yes. New Here's Jenny. Dale Earnhardt fan. Oh, he loved Dale Earnhardt. He had two labs. One of his name was Dale. The other name was Earnhardt. No doubt. Two black labs. I remember when he lived out there in Tequina. I had an uncle that was into, I think he was into Jeff Gordon, man. Oh, you better watch him. You better watch him. I, I don't even know why people hated Jeff Gordon. They hated Jeff Gordon. They, they were they were mad. They they called him gay. They destroyed the man's reputation just because they didn't like <laughs> Jeff Gordon. Uh, I think it's because he, got, he was so he good so like. quick. Uh, he was he was in his rookie year. I think he was he was dominant. Mustache? No, that's Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I had, like Richard Petty with the cowboy man, hat. Man, he was a dude, <laughs> wasn't he? he? Had that. Uh, you have a you have a cowboy hat a lot like Richard Petty. Do you think you think Chris Stapleton was ripping off Richard Petty a little or, bit, or a little Don bit. Williams? Which one was Chris Stapleton I ripping off? What culminated to possess him to <laughs> get that style? Oh, I don't what know. Was Boy, what was, what was the guy who was inspired to put turkey feathers and jade rocks on the front of a cowboy hat? That's a better question. Well, now, Jeb Stewart, you know who he is? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a big Jeb Stewart fan. Uh, he raced in the uh, Nationwide Series. No, no. Jeb Stewart. Uh, oh, my he, had that big, uh, he had that big, uh, was it an ostrich feather or something? Oh, he had a feather in his yeah. hat. <laughs> Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. Uh... Uh, Jeb Stewart kind of <laughs> failed there at uh, at uh, Gatlinburg. <laughs> Gatlinburg. What's the uh, Petersburg? No, that's Saint Petersburg. That's in Russia. Well, <laughs> what's the guy? What's the what's the name of the town in Pennsylvania? Where do they fall? Come on, spit it out. You got it. <laughs> Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Yeah. There we go. We nailed it down. Gettysburg. Um, Jeb Stewart just rode off in the sunset. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Robert E. Lee, hang with me. I know you don't like Keep war going. history, but uh, Robert no, E. Lee. I love Civil War history now. Well, you didn't I'm give me. You didn't give me much on World now. War Two now, but uh, a different he uh, he said he's he's the, he's my eyes, the eyes of his army, and he's like I'm blind here. I, I don't know what's going on because Jeb Stewart went after somebody and left him blind. Yep, that was Jeb. You think Jeb Stewart lost Gettysburg for Robert E. Lee? No, I thought a lot of people was was uh, dissatisfied with Braxton Bragg. I don't know. And Longstreet. And Longstreet. Yeah. Longstreet was the one that messed up Gettysburg. Really? I think so. Okay. You know Pickett's Charge. People who know Civil War history know Pickett's Charge. Croft, you know, he basically just walked into a bunch of guns. At what point do you think, like, or I'm talking about Revolutionary War, Napoleonic Wars, they're like, Let's all line up in a line. Everybody get your guns and see who can out shoot. At what point in like warfare, they're like, you know what we need to do? Let's all get in a line in the middle of a field and just let's just line up shoulder to shoulder and see who the bigger man is. You know, I mean, what at what point was that like? 
this is how we're going to do war. I don't know, man. I mean, we went from, like, shooting each other with bows and arrows and throwing sticks and stones and slings. You know, at what point they're like, let's just all line up. I mean, this is, <laughs> let's be honest, this running around and hiding and evading is not. Well, I don't think that is not. It's just too much They wasn't as bad as the Revolutionary War, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. You reckon? No, no, no. And like, like that was one of the things. I, mean, I think it, guerrilla warfare started yes. to become prevalent in the Civil yes. War. Yes. Well, I mean, to were, an extent, like British, British, uh, <clears throat> the British were very mad that they were like targeting their captains. They're like, that is ungentlemanlike. Yeah. Mm, we're trying to win a war. What? <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? Yeah. That, they was like, uh, that. That's something. Well, I mean, let's just say the Vietnam War was won by a guerrilla. Fighting yeah. force, Viet Cong. Yeah. And they said if we can outlast them, they ain't got the belly for it. But I, I, I don't I don't understand Afghanistan. That, lost I guess a you lot could, of good ones in that one. In Afghanistan? In Vietnam. Vietnam. Some of the, the for story what? Well, that's the problem. You know, whenever the uh tapes come out that Johnson was saying it's on they basically McNamara told him uh, we're, this is unwinnable war. This is just we're just there, killing people. You what know? was the point of it? Well, I mean, it was out of the Cold War, and uh, I, yeah, after Korea, I think America had a black eye and was like, "We, we got to, we got to go show that we can do it." Why would, why would you get into another war? The Cold War heated up. Cold War heated up during Vietnam because you had uh, Ho Chi Minh was communist. Do you know? He lived and studied in France and was actually... What are you talking about, brother? Ho Chi Minh. That was before my time. Lord have mercy. It was before my time, too. <laughs> I was alive in the 60s and 70s. Um, Ho Chi Minh was the guy Ho who Minh. was the leader of the North North Vietnamese faction. Remember that song was written about? Oh, that was Hoochie Coochie. <laughs> Hoochie Coochie Man. No, it wasn't Ho Chi Minh. It was Hoochie Coochie Man, and that was Muddy Waters. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I, he was the leader, but he was like, he didn't want to be communist. <laughs> Did you just recognize we had background? Music? Yeah. I like it. I Is that too good. loud? I, no. You'll I have think... to watch this back and see. No, it won't be. Well, the you're going to have to get copyrighted. <laughs> I ain't worried about all that, brother. <laughs> Don't go there. Uh, what, what this nation has right now is a lot of regulations. But here, Here's one for you. Me and you's probably both what? Lib- libertarians, I guess is what you call our mindset. I would, I'm i fine with you building a nuclear reactor in your living room as long as it don't infringe upon my rights, my safety, and, and those things. Yeah. But um, I don't know how we got here from Ho Chi Minh. But um, with it, brother. I, don't, I don't understand like people's mindset <clears throat> of... Uh, Capitalism, communism, this, that, and other. Why wouldn't you just be like, everybody do your thing as long as you're not inflicting or you're not affecting their safety or their liberties? Have at it. Would that be the Wild Wild West, you think? Do you think people just go crazy? I don't think I mean, that, that, to me, if you're not infringing upon my liberties and you're not infringing upon my safety, if you want to blow up a pot bomb in your mailbox, yeah, just make sure the mailman ain't nowhere around it. And uh, make sure that, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it would be a lawless society or not, but I'm for, le- oh, we got our regulations. Do you know, in the uh, duck hunting, I know you're not a big hunter, stay with me. <laughs> stay with me. Don't leave me. I'm uh, with you, brother. Don't fall asleep on me. Right. Uh, on the on duck hunting, you can kill six ducks a day, but you can only have in your possession, which means your freezer or whatever, is 12 ducks. So for me to go kill six more ducks, I got to eat. If I have 12 in the freezer, I have to eat six of them. That don't sound so bad. What, I like well, What does that even matter how many you got stacked up in the freezer? If it's six a day, it'll all be six a day. Yeah. You kill six a day, go put them in the freezer. That's like an outdated law, I think, from like the market hunting days where they was hunting ducks, you know, and to, you know, to where they actually, like, whoa, hold up, boys. We're, gonna, we're not going to have any ducks left. Yeah. Um, a better... Example. So do they they go around checking? And no, f- no, they don't enforce it. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do we need that regulation? You've heard of uh, like the weird laws, like you can't hurt sheep in, on Main Street. Of, that law. of what? Yes, I, I am an offender of that law. 
uh, because I don't want to go eat six ducks if I want to go duck hunting tomorrow. Uh, you know, what, well, maybe well, I don't. Bring maybe. them over to my freezer. I'll keep them. I got. We got plenty of duck meat. If you need some <laughs> duck meat, we got you. Oh, here's one. You talking about a, a caveat and a pivot to what we was earlier talking about? Okay. We got pivot. a new duck lease. I'm going to pivot. Hold on. <laughs> Alert, alert, a pivot is headed your way. <laughs> sure, for recording. Oh, right. yes. <laughs> How, how's the audio going? I don't know. You were supposed to <laughs> I'm you, audio. You're supposed <laughs> to be engineer and, and podcast guy here. So, um, we, in, where we got a duck lease in Mississippi is actually the hometown of BB King. BB King. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. I, I'm sure there's got to be some kind of little museum down there uh, in his so. childhood home. In Greenville, do they have one of uh, Hank Williams? Do they, it, maybe his his home? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking so. Is that Greenville? I don't know if it's a museum, but it's like, hey, here's this Georgiana. House. Georgiana. You got yeah, it. It's yeah, it's boyhood home. Yes. And it's a big house. Ain't that kind of weird? Like, they just make your house. If you're famous enough, they're going to make your... Some house. Come to this house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what, what if you become... Worldwide famous, and they go back over to Fifty Seven. Be like, well, we got to fill that hole in that, that guy dug. <laughs> but this is going to make a great museum for Colby Carlock Boyhood Home. Yeah, we had the. Well, uh, it wouldn't be there anymore. But when we lived there, we had a my parents. <laughs> let me tell you, let me describe the uh, decor. Of okay, our, of our, my boyhood home. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just guess. Okay, I'm gonna guess there was some home interior involved. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So, uh, my parents they had a, a water bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> water bed with the. How four, did anybody ever sleep on a water bed? The four corner posts went up, and then there was a ceiling of. Mirrors. Wow. This is it. getting kind of kinky. <laughs> okay, so there's a ceiling of mirrors over the water bed. What else? Yeah, that was their bed. And uh, Randy. <laughs> I hear you, Randy. Got the mirrors over the water bed. Oh, let's get off this. <laughs> All right, and then in the in the living room there was a big wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> On the wall. They just had a wristwatch on the wall. Yeah, it was about Couldn't have big. a clock. <laughs> Needs to be a... Was it at least a Rolex? Or was it a Timex? I don't think so. It was more of a Timex. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear my head. It was more of a Timex. Yeah. So it wasn't digital, though. I think it... It's was it hard digital? for me to remember now. This was like... Was it was digital three. or was it... No, it was analog. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was analog. But uh, I think it might have been like a pinkish color. A like, paint almost looks like a band aid or something. <laughs> <laughs> we got a clock. Looks like a band aid on the wall. I tell you what, nothing says class like a clock that looks like a band aid. Did somebody made mistake for a band aid? Well, I'll tell you one thing. We are we're a Johnson and Johnson family here in this household. We even have the uh, band aid clock over here. <laughs> and then we had uh, some owls on the wall, and and we had Waylon and Willie. On the wall, a picture. It was his album. Album cover, I guess. But it was <coughs> was like it the Outlaws album cover? It was uh, Waylon and Willie. Just Waylon and Willie. Yeah, with, uh, the album cover of Waylon and Willie. With uh, okay. You ever watch these, Ryder? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I need to watch it. I I have seen clips and know who's in it, but I've never watched these, Ryder. So don't spoil me now. It's wild. It's psychedelic. For oh, sure. is it? Yeah. Well, what year do you think it was made in? What uh, year? In the 60s. In the 60s. In the 68 or 69. So did it dig into the psychedelic side of the 60s? Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. I mean, the, even the camera work back then was psychedelic. Really? really? Yeah, they tried to get all kind of weird angles. Wonky and yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what? what's a movie? Uh, your movie, as of right now... You have uh, two swings and two misses on movies. <laughs> Come on now. Harold Maul, not a fan. Oh, and what was the other one? Goodness. Was it, what was the uh, Wise Bloods? Wise Blood? Wise Blood. Wise Blood. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, well, don't watch it. But, uh, <laughs> watch it. Don't good. watch it. Don't watch it. Uh, I didn't under, you was totally on spot with that. You're like, I don't understand what he's, how he's trying to portray himself. He played in like the 1980s. I, I seen him. I, I recognize him. Who was him. it? 
I don't know his name, but uh, I remember watching him in I've other movies. I never seen him before. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen him in other movies. He played <clears throat> in the old Dune. He played in a, a, other movies. I can't remember. He's always some weird character. Yeah. But in that one, you're right. It's like, why is he doing that? Is him? What is this? Why? Yeah. I don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been there. See? You got mad at That's stuff that he quotable shook. lines. You don't get yes. that from just any movie. Have you ever have you have you watched Twelve Chairs yet? Twelve Chairs. Twelve Chairs. About King Arthur. <laughs> no. Okay. Watch Twelve Chairs. Don't watch his movies. Wise Blood. No, 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 no. So Wise Bloods is over with. <laughs> Wise Bloods, Harold and Maul, you're you're not doing great. So that what's, was a what's, classic. What's so a, you you need to finish that. <laughs> what's the what's another one I need to watch? You watch Twelve Chairs and I'll watch whatever you tell me to watch. Um, I forgot. I told you the other day. That's a good song. Mm-hmm. Okay. What what was the movie you told me the other day? Mm. It was a good one though. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being a good one. Okay. Do you think this is something? Me, I think me and my mom was talking about the other day. They don't. They're not making new movies now. They're just like yeah, redoing or 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 doing sequels to old movies. Right. It seems like a lot. That or either it's a Marvel movie. Star Wars. I've watched Star Wars. You got anything else? No, I'm saying they're uh, making new. Yeah. Ones. Well, look, the, the that one that uh, I can't remember which one was the last one I watched. It was pretty good. That was a couple ones pretty good, but I mean, did you like the uh, ones that come out in what the early two thousands and all that? I mean, Phantom Menace and all those. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Star Wars guy, but... I like the old ones. Yeah, I like the old ones. Empire Strikes Back is my favorite. I was trying to look for that movie, but I don't see it. Man, that was a good one. Oh, Man, Darth Vader was kind of like... I mean, if you look at him now with some of the villains they have in movies now, he doesn't even... He looks kind of timid by comparison. But, like, when I was a kid, Darth Vader walked in with that big cape and... <laughs> and all that I yeah. mean he was like he was a bad dude I never got into it when I was a kid I didn't start watching Star Wars till a couple years ago my mom and dad didn't go on a date and watch Star Wars they went on a date their first date they went to the movies and watched Battlestar Galactica which is like the Dollar General Clover Valley version of Star Wars according to it was them. a show wasn't it yeah, it became a show, but it was a movie too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was like Star Wars come out. They're trying to cash in on the popularity yeah. of that style of space odyssey movie or whatever. And so they, they make Battlestar Galacta. And mom, I think either mom or dad, one of them fell asleep during the movie. It was so boring. They were like, <laughs> yeah, they were talking about a, a fire first day. Let's go to watch a sci-fi movie that neither of us are interested in. Uh, what about uh, Star Trek? Uh, I like the old ones uh, with uh, William Shatner, Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and all those. I like those. Uh, they would have like the most cheesiest looking aliens. Now, if you look at like compared to what yeah. aliens are shown as now. I couldn't get into it, man. You couldn't get into the old ones? Any New ones? Them. None of it? Yeah. I, w- I mean, I like watching the old ones. I would stay with my, gra- with my grandmother Weaver. If we stay at grandmother Weaver's house, okay, we're going to watch Price is Right, Murder, She Wrote, Matlock. Perry Mason, all those, and then Granny would be like, she would switch it over to the soaps, Grandma Weaver would, and then she'd be like, I don't, I, I don't know who watches this mess, and then she'd switch it off. But if we wasn't there, I'm pretty sure Grandma Weaver was watching soaps. But now Granny Fern, on the other hand, she had a lot of uh, older movies and stuff, and we would watch them. What about the old days of our lives? <laughs> These are the days of our lives. General Hospital. What's some more soaps? As the world turns, or is that the same thing as uh, Days of Our Lives? I don't know. I thought, well, I think it as the world's turns. Restless. Restless. The Young and the Restless. Yeah. There we go. There the Young is. and the Restless. Yeah. Why? I remember seeing like the red Y and R or whatever. Young and the Restless. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a buddy of mine named Adam Covington, the South Carolina. He worked for the Seneca. 
papers. Anybody said could forgive me for admitting to this, but they he worked for the Seneca Street Department, like for the city of Seneca. I don't think he was in Seneca. Oh, <laughs> buddy, my mom and dad live in Seneca. Uh, but the the the, the the oh, mom and dad live in Westminster. Liam Brandon. Hey, mom and dad. Hey, hey, Liam Brandon. Yeah. But uh, the Seneca City Department at lunch every day, they would. There was a certain point in the day they had to go back to the shop and watch. Days of our lives, whatever soap show they were all into, all the guys in the in the city department, landscaping department. Yes, they would always go back to the shop. They get the shop. They watch their show, and he was like, "The guys, the guys." And the yeah, they had to watch it. Though. We got to get back. You know, uh, I don't know what's going on here with this pile, <laughs> but we got to get back over there for uh, days of our lives. But he said That's every day they had to be there every day, and they watched it. And My they dad were like, likes, um, uh. What's that girl's name? <laughs> Something about mining, maybe? Um, chopping wood. Is it we're going to do charades? The soap opera charades? Is that what we're doing now? Xena, the warrior princess. The warrior. Come on. Yeah. All, that's another one. Like the, all the monsters were cheesy looking. You, if you ever like, if you go back and watch some of Star Trek, like the monster come out, the William Shatner's got to fight. It looks like an idiot. It's just like, <laughs> it's just so cheesy looking now. Okay, here's another one for you. And what about Batman, about, like, the old Batman? You know, the old one where he'd hit somebody and he'd go pow up on yeah, the screen? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I loved it. It was a good one. Gra that would come on at Gran Granny Ferns, I think. Yeah, Granny Fern and Grandma Weaver, if I was sick and had to stay with them today. Now, both of them. I don't remember Granny Fern watching Price Right, but now Grandma Weaver. What about Walker, Texas Ranger? <laughs> I never was a fan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris oh, boy. Uh, is a. I will take Chuck Norris over Steven Seagal any day because Steven Seagal he's just I mean the last movie come out with that I watched he was sitting in a chair like just fighting people in a chair because he didn't <laughs> want to get up he was, he was too fat and lazy to get up and fight the people I don't think I know you're talking he about he just sit yeah old Steven Seagal and he run weird him. have you ever seen Steven Seagal run it's like it. Uh, it's like <laughs> Like he, it's like his arms is like Noodle Man. You know, what about he's just, Baywatch? Huh? What about Baywatch? I never got a mom. Mom never would let me watch Baywatch. I did like a Home Improvement. Nine hundred two one zero. We're we're going down two different <laughs> separate roads here. Nine hundred two one zero. What's the big one? One Tree Hill. Did you ever watch One Tree Hill? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I never was into that. Oh, come on now. Nope. Don't you brought it up off of quick. Uh, there was one that Crystal. <laughs> Look at all that. There was one that Crystal used to watch called Felicity. I, Felicity's Felicity. cat. <laughs> Scat? No. Um, Felicity. I think it was Felicity. But it was pretty good. I watched it. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I may have seen one episode. Mm. Them skeeters are getting bad in here. And dust. <laughs> what, uh, what about... Um, so if we're talking about daytime TV, where were you at on Prices Right with Bob Barker? Now, <laughs> Bob Barker. Uh, I mean, it was it was there. That's Man, what I we love had. Prices Right. <laughs> I love, I'd be like, I'm gonna guess this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna figure out mm -hmm. how much that dish Dawn dishwashing liquid costs. I'm gonna figure it out, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna win this game. Yeah, I never got that into it. Oh yeah. I love well because if I stayed at Granny's house, Price is Right. Grandma Weaver's watching Price is Right every day. Yeah, she's gonna watch Drew that. Matlock. That, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bless this one. What about uh, <laughs> what about whose line is it anyways? That was you remember funny. that? That was a good one. Drew Carey when Drew was Carey was the host. Oh yeah, yeah. They had uh, what was his name? Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady and I could call in some another, but those two white guys. They Colin were, and, and, the, and other Ryan. Guy. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Those dudes were funny. They, oh, they were, were so funny. I don't know why. I've tried to go back and watch them. They're not as funny. <laughs> oh, I have. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay, do you remember? It was Wayne was the black guy. Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Yeah, and then uh, was there a lady on there sometimes? There's oh, yeah. usually them three, and then they yeah. had to think other people. What? Lady comedians are, are, are different. Yeah, yeah, they're not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to. Th I like Roseanne. Oh yeah, back on their in their heyday. I, I we always would watch Roseanne. 
when I was uh, a kid, and that, there was one that had a little baby dinosaurs. Maybe it was called dinosaurs, but they were like puppets. Yeah, that was dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, yeah, we yeah. watched it. Uh, yeah. I liked Home Improvement. Home Improvement was a good sitcom. Oh, definitely. Yeah, Tim, uh, Tim Allen's pretty yeah. good, yeah. Did you um, ever see Land of the Lost? New or old? No, it was old. It was oh, a real I remember cheesy. watching one with Will Ferrell in it. Back, I, I saw one. I yeah, that one. Was yeah, yeah, that was the remake. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I remember watching. That was a, um, that was right right after uh, HR Puff and stuff. <laughs> what was the what was the dragon little kid show? Um, Puff the Magic Dragon, Pete's Dragon. No, I like Pete's well, Dragon. This ain't even Clanton. No, What's, Pete's 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 Dragon. Pete's Dragon. I remember Pete's Dragon. Yeah, was good. Um, I like James and the Giant Peach. That was a good one. I'm trying. To, it was like a. There was a dragon. It was a kids show, but I can't remember what what the dragon's name was. I don't think it was Puff the Magic Dragon, or maybe it was. But Barney. Ah, <laughs> I was a Barney kid, man. I'm not a fan of Barney. Uh, <laughs> we had Pee Wee Herman whenever I come up. That was <laughs> some good stuff. Oh yeah, Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse, Mr. Rogers. I watched it on Adult Swim. <laughs> well, that's about some place I guess you could find it. Yeah. Didn't he get like in trouble for oh, yeah. uh, exposing he himself? He died last year. I think year he did. What was two. his name? Paul Rubin? Yeah. Rubens or something? I like Ernest. Oh man, what what ever happened to Ernest? <laughs> d- did he pass away? Uh, Run off, got enough money. Jim, hiding from Jim the drug Barnes. cartel. What's he doing? Jim Barnes is his name. Jim Barnes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Know what I mean, Burns? <laughs> yeah. I liked uh, Ernest Goes to Camp. I remember, I think maybe either one of my grandmas or somebody had Ernest Goes to Camp, and I watched it over and over. I loved it. Yeah. He said, uh, we're tough, uh, we're rough and tough and hard stuff or something like that he had a little saying or something yeah yeah he was something else he was a little before my time but you know what I mean Bern? <laughs> was that more like reality tv i guess because he's always doing like interviews before his time maybe it was reality tv before his reality tv well it wasn't reality tv but i'm sure he didn't walk around <laughs> asking Vern what he's doing in real life why do they call it reality tv because most all of it is like People being dr- over dramatic. Yeah. I think reality TV would be boring. Nobody would watch it. It was really reality. I don't know. I mean, somebody might be watching us right now, and we're just being real. <laughs> Look out! I know them them skeeters right there, or skeeter hogs, whatever they are watching us. Yeah. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Um. Yeah. That stitch <laughs> giving you problems over there. That stitch is that oak? <laughs> is that oak? <laughs> no, it's pine. Pine's good. Pine's a good wood. Uh, oh, what was that movie? That was Seinfeld. Seinfeld. That was Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, was it was George, George at the yeah. bank? Yeah, George was at the bank. <laughs> it's like it's oak. Oh, it was pine. Mm. Yeah, pine. Pine. Good choice. <laughs> I, Crystal don't get Seinfeld. She don't get uh, the office. The office at all. And mm-hmm. I'm like, come on, come on. You gotta like Seinfeld. You gotta love the office. Yeah. Um. Did you ever watch any Brooklyn Nine Nine? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was. I think like the office was the best, and then mm-hmm. Parks and Rec was close with uh, Ron Swanson. Uh, what's his name? Nick. Whatever his name is. Uh, and. Uh, He's a big like, woodworker in real life. Like, really? for real, yeah. He loves working. Woodworking. That's too tedious for me, man. I mean, all the little... Just... just. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Blades? Uh, the little details in the in the carving of wood? Yeah, yeah there we go. Stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. It's real intricate. That, right? Very intricate. Very, very tedious. Yeah, tedious. Very tedious. Yeah, I think he used tedious. I think I did, yeah. but that's what I meant. <laughs> I meant tedious. I said it when I meant it, and I meant it when I said it. I said tedious. It's a tedious <laughs> thing, that woodworking. Oh, Lord. Um. Yeah, but, uh, Rick would do some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. He built uh, Tracy a rocking chair, I think. Yeah, he liked he built, uh, missionary style. <laughs> he did not ever build any missionary style chairs. There was a table he built for uh, Cindy. I think we still got it somewhere. Yeah. He built a t- like a little 
whatnot table for Cindy. Yeah. But. Yep. He was a woodworker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, he was really good at um, cast iron skillets. Yeah, he revived cast iron. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, though. No, he put them in a thing with a battery Yeah. in the water. He shocked them back there. <laughs> Um, the one of the best things that Brother Rick ever did was make cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon oh, rolls, boy, no, really good, good, was nice. good. He knew how to make a cinnamon roll. Yes, sir. He he would let you know that you need to get cinnamon rolls while they're hot. But listen, he wasn't lying. The man could make a cinnamon roll, uh, and he done them in a skillet and everything else. Mm. Uh, I'm not that. I don't think I'm that big into it. I'd be over there with just the little, you know, Pillsbury cinnamon yeah. rolls. So I'm on a pan. All right, kids, come get them. We used to do a picking with the Dutch Oven Society. Oh. And they would have... Did they have good eating now? Yeah, Oh, man. I guarantee it. I, but have they would, they would do one? like cobblers and yeah. stuff like that, have too. You, yeah, have you ever cooked it with the a Dutch A little bit. I much. cooked with one in a duck barn one time and made, uh, I think it was blackberry cobbler. Yeah. And I had vanilla ice cream. Them boys went wild. Well, I had a uh, cow tongue out of one. I'm good. <laughs> I tried it. There's a lot of things on a cow you could eat besides the tongue. Yeah. Was I mean, it good? It was a little chewy. I guarantee it. <laughs> He'd been chewing on that tongue his whole life, and then you was trying to chew it to eat it. Yeah. I'm I, would, you. I wouldn't. It ain't something I'd eat by choice. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to try it. Yeah. I think Crystal ate cow tongue when uh, she went on a cruise last time. She said somebody eating it. She mm. said it was a weird texture, but it yeah. was good. Yeah. I'm good. I've done seen him lick his nose too many times when I eat his tongue. <laughs> I like um, souse meat now. What is souse meat? Hoghead cheese. What is hoghead cheese? <laughs> it's out of their head. What, all the meat out of all their the, head. All the innards out of their yeah. head, and they make cheese out of it. That ain't cheese. It's a meat byproduct. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you are right out of that. It's it's like, but, but why do they call it hoghead cheese? I don't know. I call it, it South cheese, meat. Does it have a cheesy I like, think there's different qualities to it? Or? People that call it hoghead cheese. Imagine if you mix the brains in it. would be a little pasty. There's probably some brains in there. I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't probably know. some bone meal. Bone meal? <laughs> What are you talking about? You're putting some kind of meat you boiled out of a hog's head and mix it in with some bone meal. There's plenty of stuff on the hog. Eat his belly. Belly is where the bacon comes from. Eat the bacon. We ain't got to eat the meat out of the, the sausage. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. It's well, good. you know, pa uh, sausage has got kind of like patty sausage. Yeah. Kind of sticky. Yeah, Doremus up the road used to make some good sauce. Huh. Meat. Sauce meat. They, quit, they shut it down, man. Last year, so souse meat and not and cheese, souse meat, hoghead cheese. Yeah, mm. I tried a uh, hog jowls one time. Oh, I guess that's his cheeks. I uh, yeah. Which one? It's like it's kind of like bacon, but not as good. Uh, I never. I tried to eat a pickles pig foot one time. I'll be honest, I could get past the the nails. I was like, I'm chewing on the knuckles of this foot just <laughs> hard, you know. I don't I don't I couldn't do it. It had nothing to do with the taste. It was just like, here's a foot. And you kind of feel like a caveman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chewing on old hog foot. Yeah. Pickled pig's feet. Mm -mm. I haven't seen them at the gas stations lately. There's a lot of uh well, like, uh, and gizzards are all right. Pins and stuff like that, and crack pipes, but and, and hookahs. Have you ever been to that gas station down there off Highway eighty, right there next to the Stockyard? They got hookahs in there. Yeah, yeah. They are. There's all a hookah lounge in Prattville. Well, it's supposed I'll to open be. up. I guess it opened up. Well, well, well. But it's just hookah lounge. They put nicotine in. Nicotine there, hookahs. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't never been in there. Yeah, I never been in. Uh, what about these oxygen bars? <laughs> you ever like you go in, you get like pure oxygen. Brad and Julie, if I'm not mistaken, Brad and Julie went to like Colorado, whatever, where the sea level was higher, or higher. It was higher above sea level. The sea level was same <laughs> same height, but that was higher above sea level. Whatever. They go with Colorado, and he said it was. 
fairly hard to breathe, but they went to Oxygen Bar and got them some oxygen and said it done a lot for them. They yeah. get high off of it? No. <laughs> no. They just could breathe. They could breathe. Oh, Oxygen Bar. I, I don't know if it was a, like an Oxygen Bar. They went to where there was a place there you could get. I think I think that's right. Uh, I don't think I dreamed that up. Like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Was it out there with that moose you saw that time? Listen. <laughs> Fact with my hand up. I saw, I'll testify, I'll go on the record. I saw a moose in a kennel. It was in free range. It wasn't a, a wild moose. In a kennel? It was in a backyard, fence backyard. I didn't know and that. they had a. I thought that I'll was go wild. to my grave. I'll go to my grave. There was a sign that said moose crossing, like you would put up like a. Uh, Cow Crossing or whatever, they had a little sign, like a little, you know, one of those little trying to be sharp <laughs> signs that said Moose Crossing. And I thought, them people got a moose in their backyard. I go home and tell my mom and dad and my sister, they look at me like I'm on heavy medication <laughs> and that I have lost every brain cell. I said, I seen a moose in Wahala. I did. Crystal still makes fun of me and my sister. They all still, I mean, I know now why the old guy that rough talked the uh, Sasquatch, now I know how he feels because I seen a moose, nobody believed me. I didn't say the moose was wild in, in, in South Carolina. I just said I seen a moose in a pen. Nobody believes me. They used to have a water buffalo in Montgomery. No, no. Yeah, and on Bell Road. That was just a very big woman that they saw. Uh, now, a water buffalo. Yeah, he had all kinds of stuff out there. Caribou, I think. I think you're going to the wrong museums. They had caribou. In this Alabama. was a dude's yard. <laughs> There's caribou in Alabama in a guy's yard. A moose in somebody in South Carolina's yard. That is unbelievable. Give me a break. I mean, it was a big fenced in. Of course. Acreage. That's how this was. That's how this was. That's why I tell everybody it's a moose and a pen in Wahala. If there's anybody out there. Well, can we just verify it somehow? Absolutely. Let's Google it. Did anybody ever own a moose in Wahala? I'm sure they had to have a permit to have a moose in Wahala. People what, can have buffalo. What year would this have been? I went to Ufala. There's a guy who has zebra, kangaroo, and elk all in a pen in Ufala, Alabama. So why can't we have a moose and a pen in South Carolina? What year would this have been? Uh, around maybe somewhere between ninety eight and two thousand. Yeah. So how old were you? I was driving by myself, so I was at least sixteen. <laughs> Why is that funny? I I seen a moose in a pen. Y'all act like it's the funniest thing. Everybody does not believe me. There was a moose in a pen in Wahala, South Carolina. It's actually. <laughs> Kind of on the border with West Union right there. And the guy's and it had a pen up there and he had and it said it said moose crossing. Why would they have a moose crossing sign if there's no moose in the pen? So is this something somewhere that you would frequent or is this No, you just like I was driving to Wahala. I mean, how and far I come drive up, is that? I come up the back road where, where they had Dead Man's Curve, come around through there. How many times did you and witness I, this? As I went across the railroad tracks right there near West Union, it was in West Union. When I crossed those railroad tracks, there's a house right there on the right. After I crossed road tracks and turned like I said back towards downtown Wahala, there's a, a house there and he had a pen and it was a moose in it and it had a sign that said moose cross. I'll go to my grave <laughs> believing it. I don't care what anybody said. Uh, when we used to go to Georgia for Thanksgiving, there was there was a couple of houses that had Christmas light displays that you could drive through and get out and walk. <laughs> Why is that a thing? But go ahead. It's yeah. not as much anymore. No, it ain't really. People used to really go oh, they all go out. All out. Well, Chris, we, me and Crystal's went through a couple of, uh, took the kids and drove looking look at the Christmas lights. I remember it being big whenever, I mean, I never did it, but like uh, my cousin Charity went one time and we, we was in the car in front of them and there was a guy acting like he was Santa Claus and my dad was like, in the car behind us there's a little girl named Charity. And he's like, gotcha. And then when they pulled up, he's like, Charity, how are you? She's like, oh, he knows my name. <laughs> he said, he's like, that's right. You've been a nice girl this year. You look for a good Christmas or whatever. You know? But that was, that was a big thing back then. Oh, yeah, what man. about the ones you go in and you like tune your, yeah. tune your, your radios Radio. to 97.3? Yeah. Three. Whatever. <laughs> Three. There we go. You was at the same place I was. 97.3. Tune your radius 97.3. Jam. Jams. And you can hear all the Christmas music. And it would like go with the lights and everything. 
Uh, I remember we rode down to Lanier. We uh, had a we had a haunted house at our house. Was this like something y'all put on? Yeah. Y'all had like a for regular Halloween, old for Halloween. You know the deck I was telling you about the little balcony. Yeah. We they would. There was a lot of scariness going on in the house. He was scaring them. <laughs> he, was. he was. He was. He was scaring them. Yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> but there would be like these plastic drapes or whatever that you'd walk through, <laughs> and they had the dry ice and the witches. Heart <laughs> cauldron, yeah, and yeah, smoking and, double, double boy in trouble, yeah, okay. all that type of stuff. And we they had the little tape, the cassette tapes that played the hobby, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the people screaming. <laughs> yeah, it was fun stuff. Now, now, who and all come people over? People don't even trick family or treat anymore, man. No, it's just neighborhood kids, yeah, just come through the haunted house, yeah. Haunted house. So I, Randy is a renaissance man. Yeah. He owned the movie palace. He had the movie palace. He had a movie palace. He had a a uh, haunted house there <laughs> at his house. He uh, what else did Randy do? I, I got some, he scared the children with his toes under the doors. I got some Halloween stories, but I don't think I can tell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I don't ever remember like. Halloween or boogers or anything like that scared me. I went to one at Kiwi Fire Department, a volunteer fire department when I was a kid. I went with uh, some friends of my mom and dad's and their kids. And we went through there. And all I remember, I was scared to death. Yeah. And then I got out and I was like, why was I scared? I knew half those people in there. I knew them. They were just dressed up. Why was I, uh, why did I get so scared? We used to go to South Montgomery. They used to have one. Boo at the zoo? No, no, South Montgomery County. Oh, okay. Way out of the city. Um, and you had to cross, when you went to the thing, you had to cross like 13 bridges. But when you came back, you only had to cross 12. <laughs> that was a road. Uh, that's that a road. seven bridges. Right? Something. <laughs> 13, no. 13. Something like that. But uh, so anyways. So you went, went one way. So it was 13. already spooky just getting there. You'd have to drive me across there to let me count them. But go ahead. I don't know what the explanation is behind it. All right, keep talking, keep talking. Um, but, yeah, they used to put on a haunted, hay ride, or haunted house down there, and they'd break out the chainsaws and everything. The chainsaws? Oh, saying. yeah. They broke out the chainsaws, but the, the scary part was the didn't snakes. Didn't the blade in it? There was these tails that they were going to throw... It? Was the chainsaws didn't have the blade? No, they don't have the chain on them. Oh wow, they were they were uh, they were pretty uh, hardcore. The ones we went to didn't have the the chains in them. They just had the chainsaws without the chains. They would Wah! come at you. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> but there was there, there was rumors that they was throwing snakes on people. <laughs> Real snakes. Yeah. Talking about snake and, handling now. Yeah, my sister. Heather, she was terrified of snakes. Yeah. So she was scared of death. Do you think they put that out there and just throw rubber snakes on people? Just, yeah. just, just like, oh, they've been throwing real snakes. Yeah. Don't you work there? <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They say... And they uh, were playing... This was back when they was playing Papa Roach. Um, early 2000s? What was that song? Suffocation... No breathing. Mm-hmm. This is my last Three, resort. Last resort. Yeah. That's it. Last resort. That was back in the days. Boy, everybody had hair gel and dyed tips back then. <laughs> dyed what? Oh, dyed tips. Oh, okay. Yes. Gotcha. Dyed, <laughs> easy. They, they had dyed frosted tips and everybody had gel in there. I didn't have them, brother. Oh, but well, I, I didn't either. I'm I just saying like, they had the, what about the Jinko jeans? You remember the Jinko yeah, jeans? I did like the Jinko jeans. Then the Jinko jeans was... With the dragon on the back The back, yeah. Earl about... had a pair of them one time. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> He wore a pair. He wore a pair. It was embroidered all the way down his leg. It was some FUBU pants. He actually was in his waders hunting, and it was it was cold. I heard story, oh, man. listen, listen. It was cold, and and when I say cold, there's icicles hanging off you know the, the eaves of the porch. It's yeah. cold. We go duck hunting. I think it was him and Johnson was in the stump. Was it a dragon or a polar bear? It was like a like a like a Chinese dragon from his like from the back of his knee all the way up the top of his back pocket. So Earl's over there, Mr. Overalls himself. He goes in and goes over his waders when it's that cold. Well, he's like, he sat there for a little while. He told whoever he's hunting with, I guess Johnson, he's like, you know what? I can't take it. 
I'm going to catch hypothermia. So he goes across the road to Cookies. Uh, it's a guy who he kind of looks over property for us. Cookies over there. And he got in there. I don't, I can only imagine the scene. Earl knocks on the door. Cookie, oh, what is it, Earl? This is like six, seven o'clock in the morning. Earl's like, I done fell in, Cookie. I need to get in your tub. And he goes and gets in the man's tub. And cut, he said he cut the hot water on, no cold, and just sit there to try to thaw out. And Cookie, he give Cookie his clothes, and Cookie actually carried him over to Miss Evie's, which is where we eat. And Miss yeah. Evie was nice enough and These sweet enough. Water black folks. Black folks. Okay. Evie and Cookie's black folks. Okay. But we always eat at Miss Evie's. She's a great cook. We went over and we, we was going to eat with her that morning. But <clears> Cookie <throat> went over and said, hey, can you get his clothes dry? I'm going to give him some clothes. So Cookie, we get back to the truck. We all getting, you know, getting our waders off, getting decoys thrown in the back of the truck, getting dogs loaded up. <laughs> Earl comes, jumps out of his, the uh, Rebel Flag Chevrolet. <laughs> And jumps out, got FUBU pants on, this big long T-shirt, and the FUBU pants have a Chinese dragon from the back of his knee all the way to the top of his back pocket. And Johnson said, I never would have thought. I never would have thought I'd have seen this. And Earl's like, got FUBU breeches on. I had to have them. Did he have a do rag on? You know, he Did was he have cold. a do-rag? No, he didn't have a do-rag. He had his hat. His, you know, he's got the old cloth. He doesn't like a mesh back hat. He likes... <laughs> A full cloth hat. He had it up there like only Earl can wear a hat. You know, he had it looking good, but he had on Fubu breeches and some <laughs> t shirt. It may have been a Bone Thugs and Harmony t shirt. I don't know. Uncle Charles. Uncle Charles t shirt. I miss my Uncle Charles, y'all. Uh, that's it. That's it. But no, yeah, he had the Fubu pants on. Could you imagine waking up and Earl Emerson at your door and he says, My frozen ass! You know, and gets in your tub. <laughs> And then hands you his clothes, and then he, then you got to get supply him his clothes. But Cookie, God bless his heart, has has been a, a help over there. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes in on property, he's kind of got an eye on them, stuff like that. But uh, man, they took good care of Earl that day. They clothed him, they fed him. You know, all they had to do was shelter him. They could have called him Earl Edmondson, whatever their last names was. He could have been part of the family. But yep, you got you got a couple of hunting stories on Earl, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got some on, on Earl, some on Jonathan. Jonathan's dog about bit my face off one time. Oh, uh, I got um, a couple on Bob Carr. Bob Carr. Yeah. Yeah. I got some on about everybody. I seen Jonathan do a backflip out of a boat one morning into the water, like feet overhead, whoop, out of the boat. Yep. That was that was interesting. Was duck on hunting. purpose? Or? No. He he was shooting at a duck that was coming over him, and so he started here. Bam. Bam, and he was leaning on the edge of a John boat. Well, by the time he shot at him back here, he was going back. There was no more coming forward. The boat had done, you know, give up on him. And to so, Toby Keith. To Toby Keith. And he <laughs> rolled out the the side of the John boat. His t his his boots come over his head. I mean, he just does, I look at it, he just, whoo, just does backflip. And Jesse and then bust out laughing. I said, what happened? He said, he just done a backflip. And he goes, waiting over with his gun, gets out, like, spitting water, you know. Yeah. <laughs>